Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. We're officially live. My name is Strong Legs. This right here is Boggs. And today we have some pretty good set of matches. First up, it is going to be Big Frames versus Team Clarity. Boggs, if you thought my legs were strong, wait till you see Big Frames in action. These guys will put me and my legs to shame. And Team Clarity, they had a bit of a rough showing last, you know, it was a little bit rough last week, but I do have a feeling they are bouncing back today. Let's see how it's going to unfold. It is Nuke. Let's go straight into the server. The second match coming up, by the way, is Singularity versus Faint Gaming. And the third game will be Good Game PR versus Mac51. Oh, we got some good games in the docket. And Team Clarity start off this nuke a lot better than they finished their last match in Winners League. With a knife round victory, so let's see if they can compound on that and bring something back. It's going to be a bit of a redemption match for the boys on Clarity. And let's see if they can pull it off. Also, to note for Big Frames. ZNF is subbing in for good old Big Daddy Nerd, so let's see how they play with the stand-in. He played their last two matches elsewhere. So, here we go, live into the fifth We are pushing in towards A. The door is open and the site is flooded. Really nobody there to defend from Clarity. That's going to be a free bomb plant for the Big Frames, boys. 5v5 retake a kit in the hands of the CT side. Could be a very interesting retake. That is going to be an interesting retake. And I think these two players pushing in ramp will be the critical piece to this, whether it's going to work out or not. Unfortunately for them, Dev is waiting for this. He has one. He has two. There it is. Calypso cleans up. It's down to the five versus two now. They're coming in through mini. Located. Eliminated. Easy peasy. It's only bars left. And bars is out. Young ZNF with the two kills. Dev with two. Bugs. Knock, knock. Who's there? Nobody on the A site box. That's who's there. Yeah, it's not often you see an A site completely unattended, especially on a pistol round where the door pop is so common. Even like you have people made the door flash through and it's flood onto the A site. So, bit of a question mark there in my mind. Clarity, but we'll see what they can do with this counter force fight. Three Eagles, Roy. An MP9 as well. Nova shotgun. Good on top of us. Full on top of Hutt instead of the B pop. The ramp play works. Dev already in. Drop coming in close and personal with the Nova. But Churchill. MP9. He gets a second one as well. ZNF drops Mata. Great. We'll actually get one with the Deagle. Not bad. Will end his dreams of glory. And the big frame will put up two on the board. A third looking likely. Is there's nothing in the tank for clarity to buy with. Let's see what Team Clarity's up to. The Force Buy, not quite fruitful. Two kills, not bad, but for a Force Buy, not great either. Five nades this time. Let's go. Let's see if they're going for the airstrike right here. Maybe they can get the nades off to a proper start. Maybe they can eliminate Calypso right here with the grenades. But doesn't even take a single point of damage. Not even one. He took one. Actually, he took one. Sorry. Pardon me. Pardon my illiteracy. Well, Calypso with three outside, getting one through his teammate, and adding another to his Grape and Eris, now just Grape, 1v5. Well, she actually will go down here. She gets she? caught trying to jump around. Yeah, that's an SG. If Grape can save it, that's a massive victory for clarity. But the question is, can he save it? And no, he will not be able to. Dev comes in from the heavens. Rain's death down from above, tapping with the Mac 10. He'll grab the SG as well. But now we have a buy for Cleric. Grape on the op. M4s, Augs, if they want to go for those on the side of Clarity. Utility across the board as well. And this is where things need to happen for Clarity. They need to pick up a win. They need to minimize their losses. And they need to put big frames down a pig. Absolutely. I mean, even at this point, with how strong big frames' economy is, you have to at least come out great here. But it's going to be great coming out with nothing this time around. They've already got the man up. But Bars, he's there. Well, he's going to go for more. Lingering a little too long. But the cavalry for big frames, the gym bros, they're never too far apart, Bogs. You got to stay with your bros. It's the bro code. So, big frames playing the buddy system, and it works out perfectly. Two for one trade. And now there's a lot of map control for big frames as well. They can go wherever they want. They have Calypso up in the heavens. The pop flash will push him in. But again, there's nobody on the A site. And big frames will have a free plant. Mata in ramp. There's another on the flank. It's going to be Chop in the lobby. But I think the bomb should still be going down nonetheless. And it will. ZNF will be able to get the numbers down. Another Molotov towards Hut. A smoke down deep will extinguish. But a 3v4 retake. Mata coming in from the outside. If Church isn't ready for this, Dev's going to spot it out from the heavens. 
I think Dev just called it out. He's not going to... Instead, he almost pays for it with his life. Mata spraying away does a lot of damage. But now it's going to be Chop and Eris running for the hills. They're out. Their team wasted and their lives would be forfeit should they go for that site take. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's looking a lot rougher. There's control everywhere for big frames. They have heavens, they have the site, they have lobby locked down with the utility. They already came out from outside from mini, so that's clear as well. I mean, yeah, your chances are not great. Just save the weapons for clarity. Smart decision by them. Unfortunately, with only two weapons saved, that's only two rifles that can be dropped over, which makes this buy a little awkward. So yeah, they had that third player alive, and Mata survived that. Maybe it was, it'd be a full buy right here. But it is nuke, and many weapons are viable on this map. Do they go for it, though? Yeah, they are going to go for it. They're going to go for an SMG shotgun for Mata, which I assume is up close and personal. Oh, no. Max 7 is dropped. There's an extra rifle after all. That's a bit of a waste of money, but either way, they have rifles in the hands of four and SMG on great. Just put the goalpost last round up. Ah, he's playing back silo with it, but it's going to be Mata from the scaffolding to play with his mate. And finally, Clarity get the first pick. That's a good start for them. Something they have not had in quite some time. Well, she trying to molly out towards credit card smoke towards And CNF will get one, but he falls shortly after. It's going to be chopped with one of his own. Bomb still in the hands of the T side. I'm not too sure what big frames are going to do in this round, though. They have Calypso still wandering around outside. But Chop and Grape holding down a ramp. He'll go in the way of bars, but well, she will get the trade. However, at this point, the trades don't really favor the T's as the man at Banner still sits with clarity. There's this beautiful from yeah, he just held it down. I mean, big frames, they had the right move. They had the right idea. Let's try to pinch ramp together, but our positioning was just a little too difficult to predict, I suppose. But Clarity do pick up the round after all. Now, big frames, they've done a good job in their first few rounds, so their money is not bad still. Even with this full buy, they still have Church at 6.4 thousand. Even Calypso is 5.2. Dev is not too far behind at 3.7. Of course, ZNF and Welch here are limited, so a bomb plant will mean probably a full buy for big frames, but let's see. Mars has played this position before. He's looking for it again. And in his position, he'll hear them just stomping around towards Seeker. So the rotations will be made. It's a matter of whether it gets there in time. I know Grape's already down here. And he's going to be the next line of defense. Nice shot with the SG. Good Molotov and fall away. But Church has bypassed the Flames. And if Grape's not careful, he will pay with his life. However, Chop's coming in through the vents as well. And he should be able to pick it up. Indeed, he will. Spots the gun barrel. But the trade is there. Church will avenge his comrade. But Mata close behind as well. I don't think Church will expect the second. That's the bomb to be dropped as well. Should Mata pounce. Let's see. The noise. And instead, he's going to clear out Mata. That's huge for big frame. But still, there's one more in the radio. That is great. And on ramp is Eris. This take is not done just yet. Eris has been spotted. CNF combines with Church. Another kill going the way of the T's. But great will pounce. And CNF has the ball. Shot for shot, it seems. Not sure he's aware of Grape's positioning and his crosshair is just on point. Down to bars he goes. Hopefully he's full bars because they're going to need his services right now, Boggs. Indeed they will. Bars will need to spit some mad bars to clutch this one out. Because right now it's looking like big frames will return to the win column and put clarity back on the broke buzz. Only Grape has any sort of economy built up. Although, actually, with the loss bonus at three rounds, they still will have a time. It's not going to be a terrible amount for a good buy. Well, she will enable that one for big frames. Nothing doing for bars. And Clarity, with their economy in a bit of a shambles, I'd say half buy, try and go for a more substantial nade stack outside of anything. Grape will go for the other one. It's going to be a very awkward round for Clarity, nonetheless. Yeah, let's see how it goes. It's going to be a fast play for Big Frame getting Calypso down the vents. This is a strong positioning to get early. You control the flow. You control the rotates. And as long as you're down below, it's just a lot of paranoia here for Team Clarity to figure out what to do. Now, Bars, which I am getting confirmation it is nice or nice. We'll call him nice. And he's nicely put to bed, it seems, by Welshi on the flank. Now, Mata, Chop, great. The three remaining players... This is a tough one, Box. Again, Vent is being controlled, so they can't quite maneuver out of these positions that they're in right now. And Welty pulls them down. This is literally an arm bar, Box. This is this is a chokehold. There's no way out of this one. Uh, they're able to catch Welshi out with a nade, but I don't think it's a wise decision to go for this retake. Toss that M4, saved on Grape over. Have Chop with a picked up SG, which is a massive advantage on the T or CT side, rather, of Nuke. 
hold those angles. Tap. Uh, so big frames going for these rifles, try to take them out of the hands of the CT side, and they will be able to take the SG out. Grape though has upgraded to an AK-47. Dev is Grape will win that duel as well. All down to ZNF to salvage this gun. Don't think he's gonna fight this. Actually, no, he's gonna go for the vents, but has spotted him out as well. Four rounds of ammunition. Can he win this duel? The bomb will do them both in. Uh, and the ZNF, that is a massive win. That is a massive kill, win. Took away the AK. Yeah, the only thing too you have to remember is that this is actually only a half by for team clarity. So getting five getting five players for big frames is is actually a job really well done. The money is definitely much more limited now, moving forward at least. But big frames, I don't think they mind that much. They have six rounds, five round lead right here. They they got enough money for the full buy. It doesn't seem like they even care about the off right now. They're just going straight for the SGs, straight for the full utility. This time it's full speed ahead on red. Church will open things up, but the op is sitting here on Grape. He's flipped the ball, ball saw one, but he did not miss the second. The no scope comes in for Grape as well. That's a good double down. It keeps it to an even 3v3 with a rotation coming in through decontamination as well. A lot of taking a little bit of damage, but it's still looking likely for Big Cream to get the bomb down. A lot of holding the ramp rotations. But I think he might get caught off guard. He's not expecting Welshi in the trophy room still. The bomb has gone down. Two players, one double decontamination. Mata gets dinked out in the ramp. He will win that duel against Welshi in this clarity, but Dev has even the score once again. Takes a good amount of damage, but still it's a 2v2. Hit on. Nice. nice shot. That was a nice shot for Mata. It's going to make it a 1v1 now. The Molotov is towards radio. For control, rather, and it will be nice with a nice 1v1 clutch. He has enough time to get the bomb to fuse. And Clarity pick up a second round. Off the back of their damage done to Big Frames as well in the last round. This is going to be good. It's going to keep them honest. And Dev and ZNF both pretty low on money. Church at 11k will be able to drop both players. But after this, Big Frames should be pretty broke. And ZNF is in the get. You know, maybe we're all just sleeping on the Negev box. $1,700 weapon. Takes four or five bullets to kill somebody in the chest. I feel like it's a better use of the CT side because he's just holding it in spray, but let's see what ZNF can do with it. He might get something. Chop's going to get a little bit of chip damage done with his clean shotty. Ooh, and he's actually going to turn with Ooh. one. He gets ZNF with a second. And that's tapping the heads 101 brought to you by Chop. A couple of guns he can upgrade to one more likely than the other. A nice outside shoot. You have to catch out Welshie. Dodges the flashbang. Looks back around and catches Welshie looking the wrong way. That's a nice play by Nice. And now it's a 4v2 advantage for Clarity. They mm -hmm. seem to finally be finding their stride here on Nuke. I agreed. Now, this is such an important round, not only for the round win, but this could be the economic break here for big frames. That might Indeed, demolish it. This isn't big. Yeah, ex exactly. Now, they're in good positioning. They're, they have control. They have eyes outside. They know if Big Frames decide to go that route, they at least spot them. They have two players on the A defenses. And they have ramps still held down. So, I mean, really, Big Frames can't go anywhere without being spotted. And unless they win this two versus two on the A site, they really have, obviously, no chance. So, let's see how it goes. Oh, flashes. Chopped up next. He's chopping him down. He's got one. The bomb falls. And he's got a for Dev. And Mata will spray through a gap in the scaffolding to get a third for clarity. Big Frame's probably not going to invest too heavily in this round, so a fourth round looking likely for the CT side. That's a good job by Clarity to bring things back. Two in a row looking like a third. There is actually going to be a force buy from Big Frame. This might catch Clarity off guard, although they are well prepared with three Kriegs in their hands. And the Molotov out early towards Tusker, ready for a fast play. And it's going to be Mata to spray. One, two, he's fly, but he's still spraying. He will get taken down, but Chop is here to take down more. He gets a second and makes it a third. Not a third, but nice. We'll pick up one. Good clean mop up for Clarity. And they will upgrade to four SGs on the CT Jesus. side. Jesus. If there's a heaven, it probably looks like this four SGs, full utility, full kits, and you're on nuke. Can't get much better than this. Not only that, but big frames, they're down to the eco. This time, a full eco. Only Deagles, only a set of armor for ZNF. Dev with the scout from the high ground. Maybe if he gets a couple tags off, maybe if he finds a nice little headshot, gives him a weapon, gives a man, man up, that might be the key. But other than that, it just I think it's just going to get mopped up easily here by the rifles. 
that grapes popping up secret as well. He spots the head of Dev, and he's not going to miss that one with the scoped rifle. Calypso back red, but I don't think he'll be long for this world as well as the SG is trained on his general position. And now he has revealed himself outside. A good chunky nade from Aris in towards ramp will take the charge 43. And they'll fall to the M4. CNF has the arm, he has the deagle, and he has the shot. That's a rifle down, but nothing to be salvaged yet. As ZNF playing this cautious, cautious, not wanting to give anything up, not trying to give anything for free to Clarity. It's a good, smart play. Mm -hmm. And the only thing he lost was an M4, so not bad. Better than the gold that is the SG. Now, this is actually really smart from Big Frames. Go up heaven, but it's at the same time really smart from Team Clarity to recognize this as a potential and push into lobby. That way, they don't have to worry about the, the mini or excuse me, the hut. They don't have to worry about the, the squeaky door. And if, if Big Frames decide to go up, it's going to be off angles for Team Clarity available for them. So it's... I think Team Clarity set themselves up for a pretty good situation here. Mata's looking the wrong way, though. So this could be an opening. And Mata will take one down. He falls in the end. Calypso with the scout and deagle combo will get the bomb down. That's a victory for Big Frames. Uh, he will not get anything else. Two kills go away of the offense. That's not too bad for what was essentially a pistol buy. Nothing really else added to it. And they took down one of the Kriegs as well. I'm just trying to calculate if... Nah, I think Team Clarity might be one round off. But they almost have enough money to buy for the rest of this half. They have this full buy for sure. They have the next full buy for sure. If they can save maybe one or two guns per loss, I think they have the last round in the purchase as well. So, I mean, they set themselves up nicely for the comeback and a potential lead. But it's five to six. Big frames on the run right now. They're going jogging again. They're going full speed. Down the secret they go. It's cardio day for the big frames. They're all trucking down into the secret. Molotov will not deter them. Grape will get one, but... Was avenged by Dev, the double drop. Yielded one, making a second as chop and nice. Get two. The Molotov will force them back. As well, she ends the enough. The only two remaining players for the big frames. It seems that cardio is their undoing. Molotov will continue to wall off both sides as nice is kind of isolated into the vents with chop watching his other angle. Pop flash out though should allow that both players could see angle, but. Big frames have retreated. They're back up the stairwell. And they're looking for something outside. Oh, but look at Nice's timing. He's getting all this information for them. As soon as he takes a peek, he's going to realize they're not out here. The only spot they can be right now is Big Garage. Maybe trying to wrap Heaven. But he's not going to see that either. Now they know. Process of elimination. Easy peasy. They're going back to lobby. Does Clarity adjust quickly enough for it though? That's the real question. They're still looking they're outside for some reason. You, guys, your teammates out there. I feel like Nice will have the flank on these guys in the end. Mata is waiting for the hut pop, but there's nobody to watch his squeaky door. And Nice oh, will work out. He sprays it. He's not even take down one, though. The lineup comes in. And Nice with a good double spray adds a third kill on the round, or 3k on the round. And three Kriegs remain in the hands of Clarity. Things are looking clear for them. As they could get a lead here and send the big frames back on the force by pistols and armor. Not a bomb plan. Key thing is for clarity to negate the bomb. Keep big frames from the rifles once again. But the utility is so lacking for me. Right, and they One just use. Yeah, exactly. They literally just use most of it to even get down secret. This time, they're going to have to take some damage crossing through the Molotov. They get, I think it got smoked off, so they didn't take quite as much damage, but. Now they're coming back into Nice. He's in a headshot angle. He has the SG. This is one of the strongest angles for, with the SG, in my opinion, on this map. It's so easy to top heads here. And it's not a spot you're traditionally looking. You're going to have to worry about the crossfire. Let's see if Nice can come out on top. It seems like well, she's looking for it. Tap, tap, tap. That's the first. He comes in. Actually, it will not fly as Nice gets traded out by Church. He tries to get a little too smart with the utility usage and pace for with his life. Now, B should be the point of contention, although Mata might be able to catch out Calypso in lobby, and he will. That's a good pick for Clarity, and a good shot from Mata. But still, B site is going to be the point of is here, and it will get one. Aris sprays on the second, and make it a double for him as he sprays Church through a, the edge of a smoke. Clarity finally pick up a lead here. They have not had one for so long, but a six-round streak will get them a seven-round 
to six lead. And they have a buy once again. Big frames going for the pistols, not wanting to fully invest in this round to get a buy on last. They should enable clarity to get past the door. Have to admit, bots, Team Clarity, they're winning me over. At first, I was a little skeptical. It seemed like everything was kind of sloppy and choppy a little bit, getting ran over by big frames, but now they've made their stand. Now they're solidified their lead here. They've gotten their economy set in stone. At least they have weapons no matter what. That release a little pressure, and they have a broken big frames right here. And there it is. Calypso, he's been decapitated. That's a man advantage now for Team Clarity. Utility used up to control their pace even more, and it looks like Team Clarity are on their way to that eighth round. Be a massive turnaround for clarity, especially in this game on holy for them as well. This is a fantastic answer back. Oh, great to see, but what was great to see was that from Grape, the double headshot coming through. That was phenomenal, and he's just tagged up Dean after the smoke. He'll catch him through the edge and tap him down. But what was that from Grape? The double headshots coming in, fantastic control. Man, that first shot that was so nice. You'll love to see that. Grape, though. He's really popping off. 116 ADR, 2.0 KD at 16 and 8. Two assists on, on top of that. I mean, man, his impact is immeasurable right now. But Team Clarity, they've solidified their lead box. 8 to 6. 9 to 6 would be a much better CT side finish, of course. 8 to 7. Definitely big frames are happy with that. Either way, I think 6 rounds on the T side, not bad. But considering how this half started, I think this is a bit of a drop here from Big Frames. I think so. I think they ran out of stamina, Roy. You know what they say? People who focus mostly on muscle training lack the stamina. The long endurance battles and clarity. They've kept trucking through everything. And it, they might have outweighed the Big Frames. Right now, I have a feeling clarity they're going to pick up a ninth. This radio pop or the control pop will not work for a kill. ZNF making all the noise in the world. His teammates as well. Nice has worked it down. Rape is making way. Nice gets all these out. This is a good amount of damage, but Eris is here. He's got one. He's done half damage to another. Well, she will get a kill, but he pays for it with a lot of damage. The spray from Mata takes Church down low as well. All three remaining players from Clarity are isolated back on the ramp. The bomb is yet to go down at will in the open. And now this is where big frames can set things up. We only have a Molotov and a flashbang as utility, though. Whereas on Clarity, they have one Molly, two smoke, two flashbangs. Church goes down. A great shot from Grape. He will get traded out by Welshy, playing from underneath the ramp stair, or the ramp wall. Mata, he has an idea where Welshy is. Look at that kill. Doesn't take too much damage. Dev is low as well. He gets sprayed so low. 13 HP. A Calypso pops through. Low ammo will win the duel for Chop in the end. But time is ticking. It is low, and there's no smoke for Chop. He's tapped the bomb again. He's holding it. He's going to get it. Dev will not swing. Oh, just in time. Dev swings at the last second. Good instincts by Dev. That I thought he was going to play intensive and play for the fake. But he will take the peak in the end and get a seventh for big frames. Something I think they needed. But what a half from Grape. 17 and 9. He really stepped up when Clarity needed him. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about that. Eight to seven, though. I think big frames, they're pretty happy with that. Excuse me, that's uh, eight to seven for clarity. But still, big frames are still happy with that. Seven rounds on the T side. Now you're coming to the CT side. Pistol, not as much impact as it would have otherwise, but still, it's not obviously an early lead. The biggest thing, though, of course, with this current meta is really denying that bomb plan, right? You, you don't want the bomb to go down. You're, otherwise, you're, you're facing a potential double eco as early as possible. It's just too, it, it's too random. You want to deny bomb plant? And if you're Team Clarity, you want that bomb down no matter what. Whether you're winning the round, whether you're losing the round, it, it really doesn't matter to you. You just need that bomb down. Big frames. Let's see if they're going to kind of be ahead of the meta here. They got Dev with the dualies and Kit. I think everyone else probably armor up. Let's see if Team Clarity will pick up any utility here. Maybe allow themselves some options. I'm not going to lie. I like the dual Beretta's on pistol round. The I think it's slept on. The with the one-shot headshot. Yeah, it's not a bad pistol for pistol round. Everything else, then why are you buying the dual Beretta's when you have a P250 you can get for $100 less? But for pistol round, the dual Beretta's are not a bad choice. And we'll see what Dev can do with it, especially if there's a couple players without armor on clarity. Eris will go for the full belt of utility. Smoke, Flash, and HE. Grape will... Stay at 800. So we'll see what that is all about. The nade and the smoke in towards mini. 
for the pop shot. <laughs> oh my <laughs> lord! What was that from Dev? It's what I call the Desperado, baby. The dualies up close and personal. Knock, knock. Dev's home this time. Church eliminating bars real quickly. That's nice. Gone down. Big frames tied the game up in the cleanest of fashions as well. No bomb plant. The most ideal pistol round for big frames, Bob. It could not have been any better. Now it's awkward for, for team clarity. You can't force up. Otherwise, you might give away a lead here. An um, even bigger lead to big frames. So you're just going to save. Wait for the AKs and the SGs in the next round. But big frames. This is a solid start for them. They got you guys. Yeah, they have the SMGs, they have the utility. While well, she's up close outside, reading them with open arms. What more do you want from big frames? That last round was as solid as their frames. And if he gets one dink, that's the second kill. He's not going to be able to get more than that. Nice goal. Dev with one. Chops gets a trade, but well, she's come in from behind to keep her another. Let me get a third as he taps away with the USP. Chop goes down in the end. Both rifles saved for big frames, which is the main point, I would say, for Definitely. Them. But now it's time for guns, the SGs, to come out for clarity. A gun that has sort of shifted the meta in towards the T side in recent days of Counter Strike. Not to mention the economy favoring the T side. But we'll see what the four Krieg, one AK. Interesting, about medium amount of people. Three Molotovs, four Smokes, and Black Ops. Double SMG for Big Frames, though. That could spell a little bit of disaster. Definitely, especially considering everyone on Clarity has the head armor, right? There's no one really vulnerable to those SMGs. Now, Welshie, he's pincered outside. They know he's here. It's going to be Molotovs for them in his position. That's going to push him out in either direction. Well, she's going to take cover on the right side of red. The flashes aren't effective enough. Chop knows exactly where he is. He just has to take that duel. This, this is a this is a drop off. This this could have been an easy kill for Clarity. I think they are playing well though, not forcing the issue because that could lead to somebody else spraying them down. There's ZNF in mini who's looking for somebody to get aggressive. Well, she playing this really well, not overextending the fights. He sprays away, but Chop will win that duel. Superior firepower at that range will win out nine times out of ten. And also the health advantage helped out a little bit there too. Now that only leaves him with 40 seconds to box. They have to make a decision. That kill outside, it's great, it's an opener, but it's not map control and there's no bomb side out there now the smoke wall that's going to hide away their intent that's going to force cnf into their hands if mata eliminates him that weakens the a defenses and they can just tunnel in towards that site for free but actually chop goes down cnf gets a second he goes down to eris but it's a 3v3 with only 24 seconds dev is dropping down behind the silo and he's in prime position with that smoke up towards hut to mow these players down flash goes through one kill to dev Second, that's the bomb, and the third goes his way. Dev is a monster by those hut doors, and he's got a 4K on the round. Dual Beretta's M4's pistol round or gun. Dev seems to be doing it all towards that hut door. Everything was going so well for Clear today, Buzz, until they threw that smoke grenade, the one that blocked off their entrance to A site on hut. That's That made things really awkward for them. Not only that, but it allowed ZNF to... to eliminate one of them pushing in i mean come on you're, you're pushing outside you're pressuring outside really hard you have to expect that hot aggression you have to expect that yin yang now they're walking into the ops well she's all the way from downtown picking up mata getting the man advantage and now team clarity they're in a bit of a rough spot even more so now as well that's a good pick up on the ZNF, but can they snowball this it doesn't seem they will as church RS. well she adds a third and nice he had one nice shot that's all he'll have as Dev will get another kill in this round. Big frames 11 to 8. Three rounds separating these two teams. And Big frames actually on a streak of five going back to the last round of the previous half. Okay. Big frames. They're sitting pretty right now, Box. They have retired from the gym into a beauty salon. Now it's Team Clarity. Exactly, exactly. They got the King treatment. Now it's Team Clarity. They really got to take them off that throne. They got to take them out of that comfort zone. You have the op in the high ground for Grape. He's been doing a sick job on the T side. Or on the CT side, excuse me. Now he has to do it on the, C on the T side. That nade, so close. But not quite. Now Team Clarity, they, they haven't really done much with the wall smokes yet. They, they only threw it once. Only as a, as a shroud. Only as a distraction. 
now we get to see whether team clarity is prepped on this map or not right are they do they have the the full strats do they have the ideas of how they're going to get on bomb sites how they're going to get themselves man advantages uh great he's posted up waiting for znf to peek in his hands he goes easy pick that's a good pick a necessary pick as well for clarity it'll give them some confidence a little bit of room to work with and znf who has been a bit of a thorn in the side of clarity in some rounds especially the one where he pushed in through hut to get that lobby information and get the kill as well that's going to give clarity a little bit of space but church is still holding down the ram and there still are four players for big frames the molotov to molly dev out of position will work out they'll take him down to 12 hp and mod is actually going to get down toward the but well she will deny that smoke off hell but eris trades it out Things are looking good for Clarity, although Church has other ideas. He's got one on the knife. He sprays away, but Harris will win that duel. Calypso comes in with fast trade. He'll get flanked in by Chop. The bomb will go down 2v1 for 11 HP Dev. I don't think there's much you can do. No utility as well with an op train on his position. This might just be a better idea to save the AK, but I think he's going to go for this. There is a decent amount of money on the big frames, and... ZNF can do some work with him stay close to what's hut. Chop with the fade away, gets the headshot, and D brains Dev. The ninth round now for Clarity, cutting the lead to two. Mm -hmm. But I think Big Frames will still be back on the buy here. It is going to be a little tight for sure. And I have to say, that, that was a little overzealous there from, from Dev. He didn't mean to do that. He had 11 HP. You have no idea where they've repositioned to. The bomb is planted. You have to cross the entire ramp room. Your chances are, are very slim. And your economy isn't really in the best shape. Why not have the held heads up? Now, if you watch the up close and personal, but Chop eliminating their heads off, box like it's nothing. But look at Dev and look at ZNF. They're in a trap set up down below. If Team Clarity go down there, Boggs, it's going to be an unpleasant surprise, to say the least. Indeed it will, but that's a great read from Clarity, knowing well she plays behind the red so many times in that same spot. Taking the fast aggression and taking the early is a great win, and now Nice is going to get the opening on Eclipso, and it's going to be an A split out secret out toward, or out squeaky out mini. And the split has commenced the bomb going down for the open door of mini. That's going to be a good hold for Clarity. Big frames would be wise to save here, no reason to commit, and indeed they've already called it quits they've run away and i guess they could kind of use this as a bit of a rolling timeout as well if they want to discuss what they want to do in the next round maybe not have well she get aggressive but mata might go on the hunt and there's two players in that secret garage that could be finding their hp dot bars drop down to zero but big frames think they'll escape with these three players alive for now yeah clarity. if i'm clarity as well i i don't see absolutely yeah they look they look awesome in these rounds so far at first i was kind of skeptical right like do they have ideas on how to get the bomb set? Do they have ideas on what they want to do but this is what i was just talking about right here man. You, if i'm team clarity the risk just isn't really worth it right now just let big frames have these weapons as soon as you build your economy as soon as you you know you've secured the two to three gun rounds in a row that's when you should start taking the risk for the for that weapons right right now your economy is this is this meta is so economy based right like you you can't fall behind in an economy you can't risk too much for so little big frames whether they have these weapons or not is still not going to be a full buy either way now it's well she up close again there's no way they fall for this right he's been up here so many times look at znf though he's already pushed in towards vending machines he might be able to catch Mata going up the ladder. He's going to spot Mata out. And he's going to win that duel. Takes out the damage. Eric will be there to trade. Well, she popping around behind. Dips away at Grape. Eventually gets the kill. But the trades are favoring Clarity. As it's a 3v2 to do our favor. And now with Calypso falling. Leaving Dev in a 1v3 from behind. Oh, Asia, no. That's actually not a bad spot. He's going to overpeak. And he actually might fall here. Chop will peek into him. The dink does not come through. And Chop will decapitate Dev. That's going to be a tie game now. Clarity starting to pull things back. Big frames back on the buy, but it's a glass cannon op for Dev. And it seems that Clarity have a really good read on how big frames are playing this. They've given them four rounds on the CD side, but now Clarity seems to know exactly what big frames are doing. Yeah, traditionally speaking, this pace that Team Clarity is playing is one of the hardest, right? It requires a lot of awareness in the mid-round. I, th I think Grape spotted that player going out there. I'm pretty sure he did. He knows he's up there. Nice shot, man. What impact this player has had on this match so far. This Opix opening up so many rounds for Team Clarity. You got to give the man credit. You got to give this kid some, some love. He's killing it right now.
Grape has really impressed me so far in this game, but the mid-round audibles from Clarity as well have been phenomenal. Agreed. So whoever is making those calls as well, I'm not too sure who the Clarity IGL is, but whoever is leading this team has been doing a fantastic job. Grape getting the openings, making the mid-round audibles, whoever that is. And now look at Nice. He's going to take down Calypso, trying to get aggressive. Oh, the timing! That's unfortunate, but he still wins that duel. Nice. With a great read and Clarity. They are reading big frames like a book. There is no shadow of doubt in their mind. Everything is clear to what big frames are doing. Chalk gets the great, but Dev is answered back with two. He's from behind the side. He's going to get a third, and it's going to be off the back of a great play by Dev this time that big frames pick up a round. It seems that he has been the driving force behind the big frames, whereas Grape, his counter on the T side. This time, Dev's performance too strong for Clarity, and big frames retain the lead. That was so sick. I mean, even Dev's, you know, we, we've been talking a lot about Great popping off, but look at Dev. He's also kind of up there right as well. 91 ADR. He's 25 and 15, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he, he guy's performing really well. 105 ADR on top of that as well. Now nah, it's going to be naded between Grape's feet this time. It's, oof. That was actually sick. Did you see that? He got naded from Rafters. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, Calypso. Goes for the BM spray. Might have been spraying into the vents. I think that's what he was doing. Just looked like he was spraying through the body. That's a good opening hill for big frames. Aggression from Calypso paying off. And with Grape sitting at 16 or 15 HP, that means that there's a lot more big frames can do. Grape having to play a little more passive than he might like to. Instead, as he is one shot away from death, one okay play stayed away from death as well. A couple Molotov ticks will do him in, but the smoke wall will come in outside. And big frames will have to defend the secret tunnels as Clarity are making their way in behind the shroud. Oh, there's Dev taking down Grape. A good kill to stop at mm -hmm. least some of the players going down. Two-man advantage. Mata close by in the ramp. The Molotov will force him forward. The ZNF wise to fall away and take a closer range engagement against the SG. This is tough now. The Molotov going to push Dev forward. He's going to take some serious damage from that, but he's safe for now. He has the information, though. He knows they're trying to commit to this ramp split. ZNF eliminates Mata. Now it's not just a split anymore. It's just straight control from Nice and Chop. They know exactly where they are, though, Boggs. There's there's no element of surprise here. There's no confusion. It's clear, but somehow Nice eliminates Church down below. They've at least managed to make it a tiny bit more manageable, but... A two versus four. Bomb is being planted in the corner. And if Chop wins the duel, then we're talking about... There it is. That's huge. Well, she and Calypso on the flank now through vents. There is a Molotov in the hands of Calypso. But Nice plays around the door. And he's going to drop Dev as well. All picked up. Chop will fall. And now it's all down to Nice. But I think he's in a good position. The Bomb in the open as well with both players. The same angle. They're going to double peek. The lineup is there. The shot doesn't connect. But there's no smoke. It's going to have to be stuck by Welshie. A flash goes through. Nice. Off the no. bomb. He does not connect it. Switches over. I believe he switched over to a nade of some sort. Oh, it will be Welshie to win that 1v1. Almost for nice. It would have been a phenomenal play. But big frames will double up on their lead. Nick at 2. And we're getting into the dying embers of this game, Roy. Three rounds away from champion or big map point for match point for big frames. They're going to be back on the buy. Whereas Clarity... Look what they have in hand. Man, what a drop from Nice. I feel like he had all the winning conditions. He had him pinched. He had, well, she had nowhere to go, Box. It was just mind games. He just had him pinched, but he was like, you know, it's not on it. I don't want to take the risk. But while I'm saying this, there's pure chaos towards, towards lobby right now. Two kills already. Might have looking for the third. He's evened it up. It's a three on three. And now they have weapons. They're equipped now, Box. Indeed they are. They have a bit of utility as well. Two smokes and an HE, whereas there's no damaging utility for big frames. Just a couple smokes. They have a kit on Welshi, and Calypso is not of the helmet. So the MP9 and M4, both very good guns in the situation. Welshi might have to 1v2 this with an op, and that does not sound advantageous to me. He's going to come in through control. Era should go down to him. Indeed, that will happen. What? Welshi and Calypso doubling up. They picked up the Molotov as well. And now this is where things get scary for Mata. Mata. He has to be real steady here, Bugs. He just has to wait for the right time. It's not the green light yet. Just wait for it. The smoke's gonna give him a little bit of pressure. He spots Welshie down below. He goes for the full spray down. Calypso, he has to hunt this kill. Oh, but he has to also go for the bomb. And for perfection for Mata. Three kills, the clutch, the savior, and somehow Clarity has stolen the round away from Big Frames. 
The lobby aggression from Big Frames plays against him as Mata and Eris were able to make it a 2v2. And then Mata in the 1v2 plays it brilliantly. The spray on to, I believe it was Welshi on the bomb and the smoke was great from Mata. And then the follow-up play, peeking out onto Calypso, forcing him to go for the bomb. Phenomenal stuff and clarity. Punching pound for pound with Big Frames. Mm -hmm. Might be punching a little bit above their weight class right now, but this is definitely good signs from Clarity. Something that I'm really enjoying how they're playing. Enjoying their audibles enjoying their even their exits. Like that was just a full-on lobby raw aim duel extravaganza that happened in the lobby. And we saw how they won it out in the end. And were able to transfer that into a round victory with just about nothing invested besides minimal pistols and armor. Well, what's crazy so to me as well, Box, is that Clarity's alternating from making elementary mistakes to making advanced tactics work it's it's odd i'm not sure how to judge it right now but every time i'm like wow they're doing something great then they do some a big mistake and i'm like okay then they somehow repair the mistake it's crazy now it's a fast ace but chop catches them off guard znf trying to push forward this time they don't get caught off dabs on the flank with the max seven unable to make it work church from the heavens with the five sevens already eliminated too and he might go for the third but ma da on point right now 13 13 things are tied up and the economy for big frames it has all been spent on protein bogs they are broke yeah they went for the four spot in the last round trying to avoid the double save but it will come back and bite them in the end they have a five seven on church did a lot of work with that last round but he had armor his teammates had guns everyone else on the usp made in towards door smoke in as well from clarity and if they play this smart, which I think they are looking to, everyone playing together relatively. Whereas Big Frames all grouped up on B. Clarity send a feeler in towards A. They're going to discover the site is wide open for business. And then similar to their pistol round defense, Clarity is going to walk in. And like Big Frames said, knock, knock. Who's there? No one. On A. Grape opens it up onto Dev towards ramp. But I think now Clarity might be getting an idea that the A site is clear. They can see clearly now. The rain is gone, Roy. Although, actually, they might be big braining themselves. They're going for smokes outside. No, they don't know definitively. Oh, no. That's the problem. They don't know for sure. They have it. They don't have probes. They don't have anyone outside. These smokes. Uh, hopefully, they commit. Uh oh. Wait, are they... No, they're routing to ramp they... bugs. Oh no. This is literally the only play they could have possibly made. That actually gives big frames a chance. If this is a drop box, I will lose my mind. This can't be. This cannot be. The bomb is staying in lobby, though. This is suggesting they might just wrap to heaven. This actually could be the play. They're avoiding disaster bogs. They are rerouting. There we go. This is it, boys. Okay. I thought Big Frank or Clarity were about to big break themselves. Like, oh, nice with the Molotov towards second vents. Clearing out close. Grape coming in through Hut. Players on the scaffolding. Ace site discovered to be clear. That's going to be the bomb down with just about 18 seconds to go. Really burning down the clock for Clarity. Although against the pistols, that is a double-edged sword. Because if you do go in and it is the stack, chances are you're not going to be able to kill all those players in time. But it does work out for Clarity, and they avoid pulling that vintage Navi setup where they burned down the clock way too late and ran out of time. That would have been a way to lose the round as well. Big yeah. frames with nothing invested. <laughs> yeah, that's that would be a disaster. I mean, your money's not that strong, right? If you're Team Clarity right now, it's all about saving these guns. All five weapons. No doubt about it. Eris avoids disaster. Nice job. Oh, they got to work on the stack. One kill. Not bad. You know, it's manageable. That's not too shabby. Yeah, that's not bad at all for Clarity. They played it slow. They played it smart. Almost played themselves, but all is well that ends well. And right now, Clarity come out ahead. 14-13. Big frames. No off in hand. 3M4. A4s. One A1S. And the AUG. No kits, though, no Roy. Kits. Church bought a helmet instead of a kit. That could come back to bite big frames in the end. No kits, no mollies. Ours is already out towards vents. Calypso might have an idea. He's holding for it. There's this, this is a lot of control. They can clear top hut from here before they commit to the bomb site. If Aris isn't checked well, that could be a big problem. Now Calypso's position has to forward. Aris and Chop find both kills. It's going to have to come down to Dev now. Been huge. He gets two. That might be enough. ZNF and Church. Never mind. Just ZNF as Great pops out and Dex Church. 
That's going to have to be a save from Xena. If he has no kit, he has really no utility to clear these angles out and do damage. He's going to pop at the... Surely he doesn't go for this. Surely he gives them 15 here. Not. It seems like he's committed now. He finds Knight. So healthy enough for these two other players. 62 HP. That's more than enough to work with. Unfortunately, again, you're absolutely right. There is no kit. Time is ticking as well. The Molotov off to give him some space. But Grapes era, consistent as ever. He closes off the round. It is 15-13. Match point for team clarity not only that box but they have the best win condition they've gotten a broken big frames right here mind you they do have the full law so it is uh, on our right artillery but comparatively to the sgs aks the full op it's nothing you have what two smgs three smgs a famas for the rifle and a, the xm for defenses on top of the hut that's it that's all they have I feel like the XM is the most powerful gun in this situation as well, but Eris, I believe he's already down the fence. Indeed he is, and he's going to get the first kill. There goes ZNF, and with the fence control, that should spell victory for Clarity. As long as they don't make any terrible mistakes, this should be their win. Mata and company moving down the ramp, mauling out towards hell, taking no chances. Oh, she goes down to Grape. Eris does fall to Dev, but now Church has gone down. Dev with 44 HP and an AK will have to make a play bigger than anything he's done in this game before. Mm -hmm. Molotov might actually give him a false sense Wait. of security, but no, he thinks he thinks they're rerouting. But no, this is the full commitment down below. There's a lot of control down here, box. They have full secret. Dev and a massive, but Mata catches the timing. It's all down to Calypso. It's looking grim. I think Team Clarity has done it, box. It's a four versus one MP9, a little utility for Calypso, but again, no kit, long range, long range SG. That's it. That's the putt right there. 16 to 13. What a match this has been, though. That was a slug fest on both sides. Mm -hmm. Dev at 31 and 21. Beast. But it's grape chop. Nice Mata and Eris to topple yep. the side of big frames. They came out bruised and battered, but a victory is a victory. That's it. And they have got the win. That's it, man. They played phenomenal. Shout out to Clarity. With the pacing that they're playing on the T side, it's truly is one of the hardest to pull off. It requires a lot of audibles. It requires a lot of coronation and the entire team being part of a system. I'm happy to see that from, you know, an upcoming team, upcoming players. Keep it up, fellas. That's what I love to see. Big frames. I haven't lost faith in them. They'll hit the gym. They'll recover. No doubt about it. For now, that is the end of the story. And we go on to the next. Singularity versus Faint Gaming, if I'm not mistaken. Boggs, we have to talk about this. This is a narrative for us. Faint Gaming, they overcame Riot Squad last week. It was an insane match. 60 popped off. Now it's another beast they have to face. Singularity. Can they come out on top? Let's find out in about 5 to 10 minutes. Don't go anywhere. The action is coming soon.